Hi again, uh, this is Ivan Rojas and in this video I'll show you how to install a new theme into Magento. Okay, uh, first of all you have three options. Uh, let, me, let me tell you what are your options for a Magento theme. So the first one will be to have a, <coughs> a personalized uh, Magento theme, right? So you will have to hire a Magento developer in order to do this. The second option will be to buy a premium team. There are many websites, uh, many freelancers who sell um, its teams, so you can buy one of them. Or you can use a free theme. Um, there are some, and I, I was looking here um, just to show you, this is one of them, it's free. Uh, right into magentocommerce.com, you see it's free. It has uh, the last version 1.8.1. 1 .1. uh, look, looks like it has a uh, good reviews 3.9, that's good. Uh, this is uh, the theme, uh, I don't like it much, but uh, I mean, if you don't have much uh, budget, you, you can use this one. There's another one here free. Well, it's not free, it's $9.99, but still, it's really cheap. This is the one. It has uh, those uh, big menus. Um, well, you can, you can search for a free theme. I'm going to use, just for this demo, this, uh, this theme, which is $85. Uh, it's really nice. I like it. This is the demo for this um, theme. Okay. Uh, obviously, all the content you have to. Uh, I'll show you now in all these videos how to how to manage Magento. Okay, so I've used just to show you. I use this uh, plugin in our website. This is our website. It's really simple, so we don't we don't want to spend too much time. All right. <clears throat> so the first thing we have to do is to go into the files I already downloaded here. Uh, I'm going to extract the files here. Well, I'm going to take a little bit. Okay, well, uh, 99. Okay, perfect. So we have many files. We just want the theme, okay? This is the theme. Uh, those are the folders. Just, you can zip it again okay so this is the one we're going to upload to our website let's go back to the site and um, we have to go to cpanel this is the cpanel for our website remember magentocourse.com okay so let's go to file manager we already installed Magento here, right? And there are many folders here uh, with different names. However, all the themes, uh, at least the, the premium themes that you're gonna buy, have a specific structure. And the main folders that we, you will update are app, skin, media, and JavaScript. Okay, so you just have to upload into the root, okay, um, it will not overwrite any other file, so don't worry, just upload the zip file, click on upload, remember, let's go to the theme, okay, and this is the file that we need, okay, just click on it, let's wait for uh, the website to upload this file, 1.52 megabytes, it's really small. Complete, click on back. Okay, so we didn't actually uh, do nothing besides uploading this file. Now we're going to extract that file. Click on extract, right into the folder. So I usually uh, do this. Um, I would like always, just for security, um, 
I usually copy this into a notepad, okay, just to know uh, what files and where those files uh, went, you know. This is the main folder, app, and then all the subfolders, and finally the file itself, okay. So I keep track of every file I'm uploading into my Magento installation. Cool. So <clears throat> there is a uh, one more thing. Actually, I should be doing it before. You have to delete all the cache, the cache. Okay. Click on it. Uh, select all. Delete. Delete files. Okay. Then go back to the admin. Uh, you should log out. I didn't do it, but you should be out. Uh, in the last video. I'll show you that uh, you have to uh, have hold on uh, Magento admin. Here we go. Uh, you have to have disable the cache. I'll show you again the Magento the cache management. It has to be disabled. Okay, it's already disabled. Just in case, if you have a working uh, environment, um, go to Tools Compilation make sure it is not compiled so the compiler status is disabled okay so that's basically it this particular um, this particular theme has a new menu which is Keldoray something like that shopper and just go to team settings probably or to activate team uh, just to show you our website is This is our website as of right now. Okay, there is nothing in there. Uh, we will activate. Uh, it tell me that it will update currency. It's fine. Uh, I'll create CMS pages and blocks. Uh, I'll show you in another video what are the pages and the static blocks for. Okay, so just click on activate shopper theme. Let's wait a little bit. That's it. Perfect. Uh, it says, well, please clear cache or cache system, cache, cache management if you do not see changes in store from, blah, blah, blah. Okay, so let's see if it works. Okay, you got it. <laughs> you got it. Uh, this is um, information or content from the from the pages that it inserted, uh, it's inserted uh, by, by default. Uh, the one, the, the five uh, first here are from Magento, and the ones who says shopper home, shopper sample, blah, 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 those are from the team. Okay, so here we go, you got it. So we, what we have to do is to uh, start input the, the content. Okay. So that's it for now. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.